right, Victor, here we are now. This is the final of the women's light featherweight black belt division. Here they come. Misa Bastos on the right of the screen with the green and yellow belt, representing GF Team. She's going up against Patty Fontes of Checkmat. And as I said, not the first time that these guys have fought. They fought Gi no Gi, they fought no Gi World Championships final. They fought American Nationals. They fought Pan no Gi. They fought fight to win rules. So plenty of experience going up against each other. But you know what? It's hard to see. I'm not quite sure. I'll need to go in and check my records exactly. But I'm pretty sure that Patty has never yet managed to get a win over Misa. Wow. So the, it, motivation, the motivation factor plays a big role in the final like that. Going to be very high, yeah. You know? Patty's got a lot to prove. You know, she's been, uh, she's been out on the black belt scene now for a couple of years, and she's enjoyed plenty of success. However, Mike's a really, well, I mean, she had a standout brown belt career, you know, but then when she hit the black belts, she was immediately, like, one of the best black belts in the world. There was no... There was no process of, of, of you know, maturing, right? maturing or getting experience. She arrived she and she's ready. like, I'm ready to take over. But that's what happens when the black belt gets you, not you got the black belt, you know? And that's what I tell everybody, especially the brown belts at the gym. Say, man, don't ask for your belt or don't, don't, don't try to, to make a campaign for your belt. Let the belt get you. Right. You know? Nice sweep there from Misa Bastos. And now look at this. Going down low for the pressure passing. The pressure passing, yeah. Now, they say, or some people say that, you know, like guys or like fighters, I should say, like competitors can't pressure pass. It is absolutely not true. Yeah. Once is, again, uh, once <laughs> again. Mendes showed it perfectly, uh, you know, years ago as a light featherweight world champion that the pressure passing is very possible for the smaller athletes. And right here, Maisa Bastos doing exactly the same with that. Amazing low base. Um, I'll go. I'll go back uh, to Omar Salon. I'll go back to uh, Bruno Malfasini. You know, some tiny dudes with such a pressure. One hundred percent. And look at this. I, I, I like the the use of the lasso here from wow. Patty Fondes in coming up on top. She's sitting still. Uh, Answers yeah, back points. with two points of her own. There now it's two two. We've got a match on our hands now. I am interested to see what strategy my Sebastos applies here because she's known for her, her spider guard, her Baron Bolo, but she's been experimenting a lot lately with the lapel guard and right. uh, has been having a lot of success with it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, she's that good, um, even though she's so tiny. I think she's, a, she's the female version of Mikey Musumesi, right? Oh, that's a great... Oh, look at that. Big look sweep that. there. Pante, Fontes comes back on top. I think that's a very good... Uh, she, she, sorry, she came back, but uh, in a kind of reckless way. Right. Did, did you notice that? Fontes she came, came back, back a little bit too yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Reckless is the perfect description. You're right, though. There is, there's definitely a lot of comparisons with Mikey Musumeci, in, 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 technically speaking. But look at that. The uh, pressure. Exactly, exactly. And she won't stop on top of her. Great sleeve grip with her left hand pulling up on the elbow. And it looks like she's almost completely knee cut, but just the foot stuck in the half guard. If she can get that foot free, then she will score three. And there it goes. Settles down. Can she hold Fontes down? Fontes rolls, but gives the back. One hook in for Bastos. Fontes working hard to try and escape this position. Looks like the, she denies her the pass points. That is, that is strong Incredible. work from Fontes in Very defending that. Very good from Pachi. It looked like she was going to get her back taken. Still not out of danger in this position. And with that elbow up high like that, 
this gives Bastos the opportunity for what? Ezekiel, arm triangle. Oh, Ezekiel oh, going Ezekiel's, in. No, actually, it's a, it's a Mataleon. It's arm triangle it's choke, arm right. Triangle. But, yeah. But with no arms in. Oh, the arm is there? The arm is right there. Yeah, yeah, right the there, arm right, is right, there, right. but she doesn't have the... Uh, she doesn't have the sleeve grip, but this is still a legit choke. There's a lot of pressure going on from this position. Fontes holds Oh, she puts it on nice and tight now. Look at that. This could She's be over right it. here. She's going to get it. She's going to get it. There it is. Maisa Bastos wow. with the submission in a little over five minutes. Very strong performance. Beautiful to see. And, you know, Fontes, she did her best to stop Bastos from securing the position and she manages to uh, to avoid the pass points right. but even in that half mount let's call it you know the Bastos was able to get the hands in on the neck but you know why because she kept pressuring she didn't go back oh let me try to pass this guard no no keep pressuring and something will open she looked for the opening but she kept pressuring and then we, you attack the capital as I said they like they freak out. That's you know, awesome. it, it's really interesting, isn't it, to see that uh, that technically these two athletes have so much to offer. Yeah. But sometimes it just comes down to good old-fashioned fundamental jujitsu that wins or the and match. And we go back to the evolution question. It goes kind of around, yeah. right? Everything exactly. goes around, comes around. Mm -hmm. Strong win there for Mike Pastos, the champion here in the 2020 Pan Championships. Yeah, our first black belt Pan American champion.